Let's bring in Joe Wall. She's one of the Republicans challenging Trump for president. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Brianna. You are a former Illinois congressman. Uh, I wonder if you see any significance in the president saying that he does believe now that he will be impeached. No, look, I think he knows it's coming and it needs to come. That's directed at Republicans. Brianna, he sounded like a frightened baby right there. L look, this Doral thing, him hosting, wanting to host the G7 at his summit, that was different, Brianna. Something changed. That was, that was almost like such uh, in your face. I don't give a damn what you do about me. I can do whatever I want. That even Republicans... Even Republicans, Brianna, push back against him. It's really important to note, though, I need to say this. Republicans don't like him. Republicans in Congress, they don't like him. They don't fear him. They don't respect him. They do believe he's incompetent. They do believe he's a moron. Everything I say about Trump publicly, the vast majority of my colleagues up on Capitol Hill, they feel the same way about him privately. They don't fear Trump, but they fear Trump's voters. Brianna, I was campaigning in Iowa all weekend, and even just talking to Republican voters on the ground in Iowa, they were even bothered by this Doral thing, the G7 thing. The best that they could say was, it doesn't look good. So. Republicans in Congress, they fear Trump's voters, and Trump's voters were bothered by what Trump did. That will move them. I want to ask you one of the things we just heard him say, because he's not supposed to do that, obviously. The president is not supposed to be uh, enriched by foreign interests. This was a international summit of nations that was going to ha that is going to happen in the U.S. that he was having happen at his property, Doral. But he dismissed what governs this kind of behavior by a president, which is the Constitution. He called this the, quote, phony emoluments clause. What did you think about that? <laughs> He's clearly never read the Constitution, Brianna, but he doesn't read. Somebody should show him a picture of the Constitution. But again, that's it. Look, Everybody around Donald Trump, Brianna, they treat him like a child. And Republicans in Congress are nervous because they know he's becoming more unhinged, more reckless, more erratic every day. And, and this is always important to remember again. They don't like him. The Republicans in the Senate, they don't like him. They, they don't fear him. They have no respect for him. So if this thing really turns on him and Republican voters in the polls, they keep moving against him, Republicans in the Senate will abandon him in a heartbeat because they don't like him at all. If, if there were a vote held today, do you think he would get through impeachment? Uh, well, the vast majority of the Republicans in the House, in a private vote, would vote to impeach him. In the Senate, to remove him, again, if it were a private vote, the vast majority of Republicans in the United States Senate would vote to remove him. Brianna, they don't want him at the top of their ticket in 2020. They'd like an alternative. I'd love it to be Joe Walsh. Go to JoeWalsh.org and find an but, alternative. But not but, in a... But not, not a private vote. So is the answer that right now, no, they would not be swayed. So, so what would it no, take? Yeah, no, you're right. Right now, no, the Senate would not vote to remove him. But again, as this, look at how the polls have moved, and you've got to keep an eye on Republican voters, because these Republicans in the Senate will do what their voters want them to do, and they're moving on. You look at these polls, they want him impeached and removed in an increasing number. If those polls keep moving, because the Republicans in the Senate don't like Trump and they want him gone, they'll get rid of him in a heartbeat. So it's very fluid. I want to ask you about Mick Mulvaney. He's, I mean, he's many things right now, acting White House chief of staff, uh, as well as other roles in the Trump administration. But you actually entered the House at the same time. You worked 
alongside him. You know him. Yeah. What do you think about what you have seen from him lately where, I mean, just let me run through some of these things. Cooking up a, quote, drug deal on Ukraine, according to John Bolton, reportedly uh, his, and then his press conference where he admitted that the president held up military aid to Ukraine in exchange for investigation of Democrats, then trying unsuccessfully this weekend to clean that up because he actually was so definitive about how he said it at his press conference last week. What are your thoughts? Hey, Brianna, it's so disappointing. I, I served with Mick. I got elected with Mick. Mick's a good guy. He's a friend. He's a good conservative, but he is yet one more poster child for one of these Republicans who has sold their soul to Donald Trump. He's no different. Mick Mulvaney, Brianna, is no different than my Freedom Caucus colleagues in the House who now pledge a defense fealty to Donald Trump instead of the Constitution. All of these conservatives and Republicans like Mick Mulvaney who've sold their soul to Trump, it's, it's actually more disappointing to me than, than Trump himself. It's just sad. Uh, Joe, thank you so much. Joe Walsh joining us. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you, Brianna.